All right, here we are. We just woke up from the uh, second day. We're in Pisai. This is a much prettier, nicer. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Much nicer uh, albergue than the other one. Mm -hmm. Slept really well. Reminds me of Audrey's parents' loft at her cabin in yeah. uh, Wisconsin. You see there's like seven other pilgrims here. Um, beds are super comfy. It's got awesome wood beams and stone yeah. walls and a nice wood floor. Yeah, everything's really nice about it. But they still kick your ass out of here at eight o'clock. So we gotta hurry up and go. We have a boat to catch. See ya. All right, good morning pilgrims. We are starting day two of our trek to down the Camino de Santiago. We're still in Paso Hayes. We had a wonderful night here and we're going to hop on a boat to cross yes. over to the other side of Paso Hayes, and then we're gonna walk into San Sebastian. Today should be a pretty easy day because I think we're both pretty physically wrecked right now. My calves have never been in more pain. <laughs> and take a look at this. That's my inner leg from yesterday's wicked chafing. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna be walking bull-legged the whole way, kind of. <laughs> but uh, what a beautiful, beautiful place. It isn't too far to San Sebastian today. And there's the boatman, he sees us and he's on his way over. I hope, or I think. Our ferry. Or I think and hope, yeah, it's like a... Across the harbor. Across the harbor. Is it a harbor? Uh, yeah, I guess it would be a harbor. There's a lot of boats. It's pretty cool, full of uh, tugboats. It's a working marina. I counted last night, 17 cranes. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Either she had too much wine or she was really bored. Bored. <laughs> so here's that famous boat ride you hear so much about in Paso Hayes going across the harbor. It's a thriller. It's a thrill ride. <laughs> all fast, all the time. Uh, it's only one euro, 10 pence or cents or... Cents. Yeah, not sure. I'm always getting the whole London money thing confused. But uh, yeah, here we go to the other side of Basque Country. the stairs that we've heard so much about. I see arrows. Yeah. Yellow arrows. Probably. I forget the exact amount, but it's uh, just think of it like a shit ton of stairs. <laughs> Yikes. There we go. And there's more stairs. This one hell of a great view. Out into the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see, we are struggling today. Here's today's walk. <laughs> we're gonna start in uh, Pisaes, San Pedro, and we're going all the way to there. At least 
we're traversing most of the way. Yeah, it's not like a all uphill, but that first uh, seven million stairs was a doozy. Seven million? <laughs> I don't think it was quite that uh, epic. So we've got about a 5k left now, um, mostly downhill. We're on this. Uh, I don't know if it's downhill. <laughs> mostly traversing. Mostly traversing on this uh, paved road, which I don't mind after yesterday. Nothing but the birds chirping and Audrey's hiking poles go. Something but, uh, between a click and a boing. Looking for an easy walk and to get into San Sebastian and find some great food and eat lots of pinchos, drink lots of wine and maybe uh, rest, our legs. rest our legs and minimize be nice. the walking part of this trip, yeah. We found the high road and it's a motherfucker. <laughs> Nothing like yesterday, ways. but. That means there's this much down, too. Yeah. Looking forward to the down. To get back to San Sebastian. Well, some guy stopped us on the road and said that this house will serve pilgrims coffee and tea, and it's starting to rain again, so. Uh, I think they're a cult. Yeah. <laughs> they're very cultish, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully the coffee doesn't suck. It might be friendly. <laughs> Hi. We're sitting here waiting for our coffee yep. in this cool old house. It's amazing. We have a nice little patio and the people are really friendly. Mm -hmm. And they've got some amazing looking bread. Mm -hmm. But like, just look at the old Spanish architecture in here. Here's our bread. Okay. And, um, and you're saying you guys live just outside of Prague? Yes. Yeah? Oh, beautiful. It's on our travel list. We heard it's very nice. Oh, good. You have to combine this. Yeah, we got some big surprise. Very nice sourdough bread. Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, we we'll definitely check that out. Yeah. yeah. I love I sourdough. A little cough yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. We got San Sebastian right behind us. Check it out. And Griffin. He's like, what are you doing, Audrey? <laughs> and the beautiful beach. See all those teeny little people down there? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like we're almost there. It's our first view of uh, San Sebastian from altitude and uh, we're heading down into it like uh, another mile away maybe. It's awesome. Beautiful. Mountains in the background, Pyrenees, ocean. And what is the first thing you're going to do when you get to San Sebastian? Um, <laughs> drink more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. So we just got into San Sebastian and we're going to walk this cool Malecon. It's a whole bunch of people, a uh, very healthy city it seems like. Everybody's walking, running, hiking up the mountain. That's what we just came back in from. Uh, and just another super beautiful place. Well, not just beautiful, but the ocean breeze is yeah. just the best feeling on my sweaty skin right now. I love it. Yeah. And the sound of the waves, like even though we were at the ocean at the side, there was no waves hitting the beach sound, you know? Yeah, it's sounds of the ocean. But so you can tell Audrey's pooped. <laughs> I have to get that little red wagon and out, carrier, like I promised. I could, I could sleep on this bench like a homeless person. <laughs> we 
we've been pretty much homeless for the last uh, three or four days, so why stop now? Right. <laughs> What's your first impressions, Audrey? Um, there's not enough restaurants along the beach. <laughs> but I like it so far. It's big. That's my impression. It's San Sebastian is big. Yeah, it's kind of big. All right, so here's the dealio. We are we found our uh, Booking.com place here, and it's uh, right in the middle of downtown San Sebastian. Uh, yeah, although those square. fuckers won't let us check in until three o'clock, and we can't leave our bags anywhere, so and we're it's kind of trapped. 30. So what do we do, Audrey? What is the solution here? Wine and food. Fucking wine. Uh, so we got a bottle coming, and here it comes, uh, here right, comes now. right yeah. Bueno. Gracias. And let's see what do we got here. It looks pretty good. Uh, Rioja. Yeah. And yeah. There's a proof. Oh, that's the denomination, right? The D O C D O C G. I keep getting it confused with the Italian stuff. I'll have to. Okay. You check that out for you. You know more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can literally barely hold this bottle up. Like, I'm like, don't drop the wine. We are so broken from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, physically. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Salut. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like it. That's really nice. So it's floral, it's drinkable, it's uh, very nice. I hope this is, uh, oh yeah, it's a young, it's a young Rioja too, so. Uh, a little bit of raspberry. Yeah, yeah, definitely getting that berry. Uh, wow. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, putting down this bottle while we wait. We'll see how long it takes. Yeah, might need another one or two. Okay, so Audrey was getting hungry, and we had to get some uh, olives and our new favorite pincho, which is a tortilla pincho, which is essentially that one that we had in Madrid, which is the... Uh, Basically uh, an omelet with potato chunks in it. Yeah, and I don't know. Let's see what she thinks. What is the boss? Oh. Real up close. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Mm. So nice. Oh yeah. It's like perfectly mashed potatoes. The onions are nice and caramelized. Um, it's some kind of acidity I can't really place. It's actually really salt salted well or maybe it's the olives. Yeah, our last one was too salty, I think. Um, Not for me, I think it's great. But whatever Greek, I think it was Greek, maybe it was even Egyptian, they came up with the idea of olives and wine as a combination. It was brilliant. It is brilliant, or it was, because it's probably dead now. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good... I'm still uh, not sure I'm in love with yeah. putting pits in olives, because what happens if I have another bottle of wine, then I'm choking on pits, and that's no good. Right? Yeah. I like the, you see the color on this um, tortilla here? Yeah, on the bottom. bottom. Yeah, it's great. I like the color. Gives it some good um, Maillard reaction. The Maillard effect. We've been inching our way to the fire, and now we finally made it. Because we are freezing our little tushies off. <laughs> um, and Griffin's legs. Cause my he's, legs. He's wearing shorts. I'm the fucking moron that decided to wear shorts today of all days where it's like 50 degrees out. He wanted to copy me because yeah. yesterday I wore shorts <laughs> and I was the cool kid. Totally, yeah. And I didn't get like the weird chafe groin rash thing that I got. Yeah. But uh, we're still working on the same bottle of wine, but now that we got some uh, fire behind us. Yeah, it's warm my fingers. Life is way better. It's kind of nice, but it's a big hassle. Oh, yeah, you might as well 
Might as well. Film the reveal, dog. Go ahead. Yes. Because it was too busy for me being a huge pain in the ass to get fucking up here, but maybe yeah, we didn't. Next round. We didn't yeah. catch uh, Griffin trying to figure out how the hell to get into oh, our. Oh, this fucking place. place. I had to be cool. Like this is like some weird fucking hipster place where <laughs> you've got to do like. 15 doors, and we're right in the middle of downtown San Sebastian, and, uh... Well, thanks for dealing with it. Uh... I'm just glad that we can sleep in, we're not getting kicked out at 8 in the morning. Shit, getting woke up at 6.30. <laughs> I usually like getting up early, but... Right. Yeah, not when you're like, get up early and walk, motherfucker, without any coffee. Mm. <laughs> like, fuck that, right? Like, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice room you got us here. I like it. The bed's comfy so far. I mean, any bed would be comfy <laughs> at this point. Anything's comfier <laughs> than sitting out there and <laughs> drinking wine for three hours in the middle of the day to like pass some time. Well, the worst part is just looking at my backpack while we were... We were having fun though, I think. Like we, we finally, were. you know, after like a bottle and a half in, we're like, oh, hey, why don't we review all the GoPro footage from the last two days? And we're like, that oh, was fun. Oh, you're yeah. an idiot. <laughs> How our false hopes of that bridge. Oh, <laughs> I man. reached the summit. Like, no, look, I'm finally at the summit. <laughs> Wait, no, this is really the summit. <laughs> That's yeah. Great. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. A wee desk with a little uh, coffee thing. And bathrooms are shared in this place. But good. Yeah, nice looking shower. Small, but clean. And the best part of all of this is the location. We were right in the um oh the, Alameda. Little, the square what is this square Alameda. Alameda no Alameda 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 Boulevard yeah the bu Boulevard Park That's Boulevard right. of Broken Dreams <laughs> Boulevard of Broken Bodies <laughs>